Mr. Matonsela, the regional manager for National Empowerment Fund in KZN. Can you please um, tell us about what is the National Empowerment Fund and what are its goals and objectives? Thank you. The National Empowerment Fund is a government agency out of the Department of Trade and Industry. We were formed to be able to promote black economic empowerment, the participation of our people in the economy through financial and non-financial support, as well as to cultivate a culture of investments and savings. Uh, we fund through various projects in black businesses from 250,000 rand to 75 million with various uh, specialized funds from the Mbewu Fund which funds projects that start from 250 to 10 million rands. Uh, that person who wants to start off a business has a contract or a franchise, um, not a fund who wants to get involved in project finance and expansions and acquisitions. Uh, the Rural Community Development Fund that specializes in empowering communities that form themselves through workers' trusts, through community trusts and the like, who want to participate in, in projects within their area, and we fund up to 50 million rent with that. Our Women Empowerment Fund, which is one of the most important ones, where we are trying to be able to drive black women participation for businesses that are above 51 percent and what we call the strategic projects fund that looks to be able to get involved in projects at the early stage to be able to gain a, a manufacturing capacity for South Africa and bring new technologies and therefore we then get involved when a person has a concept and wants to be able to take it forward. So all in all the National Empowerment Fund is here for black business. It's here to be able to uplift and empower people who are Black, uh, as defined by uh, the Black Economic Empowerment uh, Act, and to be able to get them to be a, getting into business and be prosperous. Thank you. The Take a Girl Child to Work event was actually started by South Sea. It's an initiative that has been taken forward in order to be able to inspire the girl child to. Uh, expose them to the work environment to be able to give them advice uh, on how to be able to promote themselves to get to certain levels. And the National Empowerment Fund has thus uh, partnered with South Seas in, in order to be able to take it to various provinces across the country. This uh, initiative uh, finds its support at the highest office of the land, which is the office of the president, and the National Empowerment Fund thought it as one of the important uh, events to be able to take, in, uh, take involved in because of the fact that as the National Empowerment Fund, we would like to be able to see more of women being able to participate in the economy because we know they are the, the, the cornerstone of many communities. As you see, we get involved in terms of funding women. Uh, we have a lot of women within our organizations. Uh, our organization, more than 70% of women uh, are working within the National Empowerment Fund. And so we want to be able to inspire the young girls who are still leaving uh, their high school uh, education to be able to dream big, to believe, and to go out and achieve. So today I see there's a lot of learners from various schools from our communities. Um, how were they picked or selected for this particular event? Tell us about your partnerships with uh, Toho Sun and um, Shanduka, Black Umbrellas. I see quite a number of uh, logos and sponsors on your banner there. And also tell us about um, specifically how many schools are here today? Okay, we've got five schools uh, from different uh, areas within uh, Durban. We particularly focus on schools that are in the rural and peri urban areas. So we've got schools that are coming from uh, Guamashu, Nduzuma, Inanda, Folueni, as well as uh, Chesterville. So we, we change this every year to be able to get exposure to different areas where girl children are, are, are growing up who need to be able to be inspired, who are trying to be able to get ahead through education and we would like to be able to inspire those. So 
the National Empowerment Fund started this campaign about five years ago, and we started with uh, only five young ladies within KZN. We have now grown to 50 girls who now come from these different schools. And we have partnered with our sister organizations such as Sanduga Black Umbrellas, CIFA, uh, as well as NYDA, as well as a number of corporate sponsors have come to the fore to say we believe in this project, we'd like to be able to give to it. So we have Divilicious Boutique, one of our uh, investor companies that we've funded, Alimo Footwear that has been able to give in shoes to the young girls, as well as uh, we've got Tulumoya, Tulum Lilo, sorry, that is a foundation that promotes the development of the rural child. We also have various other sponsors that have thrown in, like the Unilevers of the world, who have given generously in terms of the gifts. I think at this point in time it's important for corporates and public uh, entities as well as everyone out there to be able to stand by the black girl, uh, to be able to know that they can stand on their own, they can be able to achieve without uh, necessarily the assistance of male counterparts because I think this is where the, the problem starts whereby because they are vulnerable then they are so dependent that they then uh, the men take advantage and abuse. So we'd like to be able to uh, inspire a woman to be able to know that uh, as a girl child you do not need the blesser. You do not need a male to be able to stand on your own. And through this campaign we hope that we can be able to inspire at least some of the girls that come through this campaign in the different provinces that were running it to know that they can achieve it on their own and they are important in society. Thank you very much. Thank you.